What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's going on everybody? So today Judah Punch Arm is bringing you another video. So today a little bit different, not a gear, like, it's a gear review, but not a gun review as I usually do, but just as important with our guns and going to the range or whatever it is, we need some gear, we need things to take it, our guns with us. And the biggest thing is we put so much money to our guns, so much investment, and it is an investment, and we need something to protect them, right? So as you can see, Collecting guns, buying guns, when I first started Airsoft, transitioning into real firearms, uh, I get a lot of cases, and there's some that are not even present here, because I have so many, and I don't know where they go. Um, but, I have a lot. As you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cases here. So we have three pistol and four rifle, slash shotgun, or long gun in general. And so we're going to be talking about them. They're all varying in prices from $20 to $200. And so we're going to talk about them, pros and cons of each one. Uh, where I have uh, all my guns right here too. We're gonna to, we're gonna show how each fits in them, and uh, so you guys can see the lengths and everything like that. I'm not I don't have measurements for all these. Uh, some of them I do know how long they are. Just the other ones I don't. So I'm not gonna just give uh, be like, oh, this one's 35.5 inches. I don't give exact ones, but you'll know because I'm gonna be like, oh, like I have my Mosin the Gaunt. That's a freaking huge gun. Was it 40 inches or something like that? 38 something like that. Oh, it only fits in, oh, it fits in two of these cases. Um, I have my 22, my AR-15, and that, the AR-15, I know the barrel length and the the, uh, the handguard length, so that'll probably help you. Uh, 22 pistols, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, help you guys to see, you know, oh, I really like this case, really like how it looks, but is it worth me buying? Because when I was trying to buy these, I didn't really see any really definitive things. It wasn't like, oh, this one's great, this one's bad, this one's terrible, the, the quality of the foam or whatever it is, this one's eggshell, this one's pull apart, whatever it is. I didn't, didn't see that. So hopefully I can make this video for anybody watching and it'll help anybody looking for some good quality game cases or they're not really willing to spend 200 like this big boy right here is. You know, they want to get just, uh, I don't know, a, a cheaper Plano case down here, which was like 40 bucks. So you can kind of see what you guys want to play around with. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first we're gonna be talking about pistol cases. So I have three here. There's another one I don't have. And that one, that's the one I'm gonna talk about first. So that one's gonna be a Plano case. And so Plano is a great way to get started with your gun cases. They're inexpensive, they're decent quality, and they're just, they're just a good way if you don't have anything. Or if you just have like a nylon bag, like one of the black ones that you saw uh, before, which we'll show off in a little bit. But Plano is a great way to get started. Uh, the two, Two of my other cases are Plano, and I really like them. Um, but the lower end Planos are can you, they can get really cheap quality. Some of the plastic, there's a big seams on there, and <laughs> I've cut myself on those seams before. They're not the perfect, they're not the prettiest cases, anything like that. But if you want something just to throw in the back of the car, or the truck, and uh, take it to the range, Plano is going to do you just fine. And uh, for the most part, like I said, for the standard uh, tier, lower tier Plano cases, it's all going to be eggshell. Um, foam in there, so I can be pull apart anything like that. Now, going along with some a little bit least expensive uh, cases, we have this black one here. I don't no idea. Oh, Allen. There you go. It's an Allen case, and uh, kind of have this hide this hide material on the back of it, and you also have some nice. Uh, I'm blanking out on what this is called. Um, I was gonna say foam fur. Um, kind of like a sheep's fur right in the inside. Really nice. Um, I got this for an airsoft revolver I had a long time ago. This was like 15 bucks. But I have here, this is just a um, Colt, Peace Colt Peacemaker replica from Spain. Uh, everything's fully functional except for actually shooting uh, bullets out of it. But you can see uh, it almost fits it. And so it's just a little bit too big in there. Now comparing with my SIG 2022 in here, it's going to fit perfectly if I really wanted to make this nice and dolled up and, and fit really well. If I put a magazine in the gun and a If I put a magazine in the gun 
another magazine in the case. It almost fits. Let's see if we can close it. I have not actually tried to close this thing. It should close fine. It'll just be a little bit snug. Yep, and there you go. So you're able to fit that pistol. And again, that SIG is a, a mid-size pistol, maybe, uh, yeah, mid-size pistol. All right, so the next case is gonna be the, you can't really buy it separately. I mean, if someone sells it on eBay, but it's just so you know, if you're ever to buy a gun and you know a case comes with it, you kind of know the different quality. And so you get the pretty much same case that comes with any SIG gun. And of course, it came with my SIG pistol here, my 2022. And so label with SIG. Um, again, it kind of has some sharp seam lines, but it has these little notches here you pull to the side. And you have a foam padded pistol case. It's decent. I mean, if you don't have a case, it, it's perfect. Um, this case will actually hold your pistol, the holster it comes with, um, an extra magazine here, and a flashlight there as well. So it's a pretty good case. You don't have to put you know, the extra magazine in a gun bag, the flashlight in a gun bag. It works really well. But I already had a bunch of other pistol cases, and so this was, wasn't that great for me. But it's really light. Um, definitely not as sturdy, I would say, as the Plano cases that it would, you know, that you would might buy uh, after market, after buying one of your pistols. But I mean, it's a decent case to consider. All right, so now this is gonna be the last pistol case we're gonna be talking about. This is gonna be the Apache 2800 series. So they have different ones. They have the 2400, 2600, 2800, and I think one above that. So these are meant for, I mean, on the back of this one, it actually has a pistol on it, as you can see right on the sticker here. The other ones have like a camera on it, the smaller ones, but even the smaller ones, you could fit like a shield in it or a car if you wanted to, uh, to put them in there. But this is probably my, no, not probably, by far my favorite pistol case, uh, except for buying a um, Pelican case, is what it's called. Uh, but I mean, those are expensive, of course. The pistol size ones are not too expensive, they're like $59, but if you don't want to spend that much, these are $29.99, and I got it on sale at Harbor Freight for like $19.99, I want to say. So it's pretty good. Um, they're waterproof, they're like shockproof up to a certain amount, I have no idea. But I really like this case. So opening it up real quick, it has some, so they have two holes for you can, so you can put your locks right there, and then you see these big notches on the front right there. Just gonna pop that one open, pop that one open. As you can see here, we have eggshell on the top, really nice, you can take them off if you wanted to, if so desired. There's just a hard shell on the top. And then you have the pull apart foam at the bottom, which is really cool, I really liked it. The first time ever using pull apart foam and customizing the shape of the pistol. And so real quick, I made enough room to have my pistol hold a flashlight. But the flashlight, I don't have it on there because it sucks, so I'm going to buy a new one. Um, and then I have space for two magazines here as well. And I can also fit another magazine here at the bottom of the gun. Of course, in the magazine, well, I should say. So I can do that as well. And I have another room. So I can fully full put three bags. What I really want to do, I left room to put a shield in here. Or if I wanted to, a holster, but preferably another pistol in here would fit. That would be the ideal choice. Alrighty, so try to move a little bit faster here. Um, we're going to talk about rifle cases. So we have this one. This one's going to be the Vulcan Tactical. It's an airsoft bag. It was when I got it with airsoft, and it was the first bag that I had when I had uh, my rifles, my long guns. So this case was like 20 bucks at my local store, Hobbytown, USA. Um, it's just really basic. It has five magazine pouches right here for AR-15 mags, or you could put tools or whatever it is. Um, just a Velcro strap on the handle. And then you have your double zipper on the sides. You open it up. And I mean, it's just a nylon bag with some uh, comes with Velcro straps inside of it. As you can see here, so the Velcro straps, what you do with them, there's a bunch of them come with it. You can just circle them around your gun and then it holds it kind of secure instead of actually having pre-sewn uh, in straps of things of things of that nature but i don't really care for them i mean i use them for a little bit but more often than not your gun is heavier than this, the velcro is sturdy so you're just going to have a bunch of circles of velcro straps around your gun you have to take those off every time you go out uh, so i don't really really care for it the only thing i use this for because i don't do play airsoft anymore is i use it for my 22 that's the only gun will fit in here and i have it right here 
so this is my 22. Um, I have a folding stock on it, so again, that's the only way it'll fit. It almost fits in here without me folding the stock. And so, like I said, it, it barely it barely fits in here with me folding the stock. Uh, as you can see, the barrel barely sticks out, and I even I could zip it up like that, but I'm like, why even bother doing so? So all I do, I just flip it around, fold the stock, and I put it in there, and it fits perfectly in there, and I just leave it like that. So it, it works pretty well. And then, also another thing, I got a bunch of patches from playing airsoft, so and going to different events and things like that. So I just put my patches here because I don't have like a Velcro patch wall or something. I would really like to. So I got some cool, cool patches on in this case as well. So just something small. Again, this is just a basic rifle case if you're just gonna have, you know, just a standard gun. Um, honestly, I wouldn't really trust this case for, for protecting anything other than like dust or something, protecting your gun from dust because this thing is not gonna protect your gun from falling down or whatever it is. I mean, maybe the, a couple initial falls because the gun is, you know, pretty, if the gun's pretty sturdy and things of that nature, but other than that, this case is very basic. I wouldn't trust your guns with it, like I said. Um, when I do put my 22 in here, I do it with the utmost care, and I carefully baby it and put it into uh, the car, the truck, whatever I'm taking, so it just depends. Uh, like I said, I would not trust this case for protecting it, but it's just a good startup, or if you uh, need a decent case for your airsoft guns, that's fine too. I don't really put as much care into my airsoft guns, that's probably why I bought so many, but yeah. Alright, so keeping up with the soft shell cases, even though this is going to be, a, I would say, higher quality than the the first hard case we're going to be talking about, but just because I don't want to be switching soft case, hard case, soft case, hard case, this is going to be the higher end soft case. Um, it's going to be a specific rifle case, and so I bought this specifically for the bows and the gaunt because the hard uh, shell lower end case that I had is it fits the Mosin but barely and I didn't like it and I wanted something nicer because I love that gun that's literally my baby gun right there because um, I, I it's a big story with that I'll get into it later but I stocked that gun down like crazy trying to look for it and it took me forever to get it and I finally got it and I love that gun but this is going to be the field and stream rifle case I really love this case it's beautiful the nice fabric the nice color you have this beautiful leather on the sides and on this uh, pouch right here so this case retails anywhere from $39 to $49.99. I think I got this one for $39. I, see, I have no idea. But it, it retails anywhere there. Um, I got mine at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I really love the case. And so you have a little strap here at the end. Uh, you can either hang it or sometimes when I, what I do is I wrap the barrel inside of it through that loop so it tightens it a little bit. Uh, whatever you want to use it for. But like I said, you have this pouch right here, this huge pouch. This pouch, I mean, who knows what you can fit in here. I think I could fit my spotting scope in here, honestly. Uh, it's a tight fit, but I could fit it in here. I forgot what else I fit. Usually what I do is I put the Mosin in here, take the bolt out, and I put it in this pouch or I put it in my gun bag because I don't want it protruding or anything like that. Um, so this case, like I said, I can't say anything bad about this case. I really love this case. Um, the only thing bad is this, if you're throwing it across the yard or throw it into your truck, it's gonna, something's going to happen to the gun probably. Um, but it's just it's natural. I mean, what do you expect? It has decent padding. It's pretty thick. But nothing can beat a hard shell case from protecting your gun. But, but this is a great case for scope rifles or hunting rifles or shotguns. Even my shotgun uh, is good in this case as well. But it just has two button uh clasps right here for the straps for the handles they're also leather as well love love the leather you got your double zipper at the end as well and you have some nice dark foam in the inside of it right there and to show you with the mosin oh man i love this baby we got our mosin right here so where nothing's in the chamber i'm gonna pull the bolt out Come on! There we go. Taking the bolt out. I'm going to flip it around. Put the gun right in there. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. I love how it works. It fits so great. And then we just close it up just like so. And then I open up the pouch right here. And then I put in the bolt inside there. Close that up. And I'm good to go. And that's all I do.
So again, that's why I really like this case. I got it for the Mosin and it, it works perfectly and I really, really like this case. Almost done guys, so we got two more cases left. Uh, we're talking about cases and so many of them in one video. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. If that caught on the camera, that's freaking hilarious, stupid Alexa. Uh, I didn't even say her name and she starts talking. She's listening, she's like, stop talking about good stuff. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I did say her name though. Evo! So going back. So second to last case, and we're gonna talk about the first hard case for here. This is gonna be the Plano case. Uh, this is gonna be this is the, this is the Pro Max Protector Series, I think it says. Yeah, Protector Series Pro Max by Plano. Um, definitely a cheaper version of the next one we're gonna talk about. This is gonna be the scoped rifle case. They do have a double gun case, or uh, I just call it a squared case, but this is specifically for scope weapons. Um, this one you can find it for about 29 bucks at Big Five and or Dick's. I got mine at Dick's Sporting Goods, as I did with the previous case. And so uh, it's a decent case. Um, I mean, it, it fits, you know, what I need to. This the plastic is cheap, but it gets the job done. It's not like crazy. I think the only thing would br would break it is if I got a hammer and started smashing the top of it. But it has several different loops, so you can put your locks through it, your cable locks specifically. Let me just flip this around. So we got four latches on the side, and you open it up. And it is all eggshell, so I mean it's, it's just it's a standard case. If you just want to be setting it down, things like that, nothing nothing fancy, nothing super pretty or anything like that. This one fits the Mosin, like I mentioned before. Also fits my shotgun. This is usually my primary shotgun one, unless I'm just going to be shooting the Mosin. Then I take this in the Mosin for ultimate protection. Just depends what I'm doing. Um, it does not fit my Air 15 because the red dot on it. And so let me see if I can show you. Yeah. Or does it? <laughs> yeah, it barely does. Yeah, that's I thought. It barely fits the uh, the uh, Air 15. Let me show you on this side, actually. Barely fits my Air 15, as you can see right there. But it's the flashlight. I don't like it pressing on the flashlight because I have it canted off to the side, as you can see right there. So that's why I don't like using the Air 15 in this. That's why I bought another one. And um, it's a decent case. Uh, I can't complain about it. Um, it's eggshell, like I said. You could just take them off and you have uh, the plastic of the case underneath. Again, the one thing I don't like is the thin, um, streamlined, not streamlined, yeah, those thin, not, I hate to say poorly made, but not uh, very adequate uh, seams especially on the handles right here and when you put them together you can easily pinch your fingers it's just not comfortable all the time um so i don't really like it too much but you're not going to be spending too much time carrying around your gun case i don't think you're just going to be taking it in and out of your vehicle so nothing sp nothing fancy nothing special but the great part of this case what i love about this case is leading us to the next case, my favorite case that I have. Let's get it. Alrighty, so as you saw me bringing this thing up, and I can barely fit my head over it. Way bigger, barely fits in the frame. Oh, there you go. Barely, barely fits in the frame right there. Um, this is also a Plano case. This is an all-weather tactical case, not by Magpul. I just put a sticker on there, but. Um, this thing is freaking awesome. It is probably three times the weight of the other case. Uh, so that's a con if you're looking at weight. I don't really care about weights when it comes to cases because uh, to me the heavier it is, the sturdier it is, and the more dense it is. So it's going to help it be a little bit better. Um, so I really love this case. This thing retailed at Big Five for $200, a whopping $200. It's on sale for Black Friday for... 99 and then I found it on Amazon for $65 guys $65 off of 200 amazing I should have bought more than one because this I have a whole kit in this case which I love it so 
without further ado, let's get into this case. Um, as you can see, it's pretty beefy. It's pretty thick as well. I'll show you guys how pretty thick it is. It's kind of like the pistol version. I mean, this is like the rifle version of the Apache pistol case that I showed you because of how thick and dense it is and just how much better it is. And it, this one also is a pull apart case as well. And so you have, what is this, one, two, three, four, five of these latches on the side of it, two of which have actually keyholes, which comes with a key so you can actually lock it, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much a plastic lock is going to uh, hold, but I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, just, it's pretty good. Let me get this buddy out of the way. Um, the one thing I do not like of this about this case is that the bottom, or I should say this middle lock here, it's kind of funky. So you need to have the handle up, click it, put the handle back down, and then you can pull it up and unlock it. And the same thing when you want to do this, you have to do that, put this up, then you got to close it. And it's kind of funky where they put this handle. They could have just not put a lock there, but to each his own. I like the handle much better than the other handle, um, but it's just the handle. But opening, opening it up. So again, we have that eggshell on here. This one is actually glued onto the top of it. Yeah. yeah. This one is actually, this eggshell right at the top, like the other cases that we saw, it's actually going to be glued onto it. And then we also can see that we have the pull apart foam here on the bottom part, just like the Apache did. And so we have it already cut out. I'm, I have a, I have a video of talking about uh, my plans for cutting it and how the final product looked. And I talked about it a little bit more, which I'll go over real quick here as well. But we have it all here. It's pretty thick. The foam, as you can see, how thick the bottom of the case is there. And so it works really great. I really like it. And to show you guys how this is all going to look, we're going to start putting all these things in here. So. Like I said, I have my little setup for this gun, my, my loadout, my kit, if you got, if you, if you would indulge me real quick. So I have my AR-15 there, I have room for my pistol. I have room for the a mag to be in the pistol as well, but I only have two mags, so I just have the mags on the side right here by the mag well. And I have spots for four AR mags as well. So it doesn't really matter which section they go if the MF S, <laughs> MFT, I always mix those up, MFS or MFT, but it doesn't really matter what part of the uh, case these magazines go into, but as you can see there, um, I have it all set up, so let me grab the camera real quick and I'll show you guys, oopsies, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So we have there... We have the two mags, we have the AR right there, we have another two mags, and then we have the pistol and the other two mags right there. So it fits, fits pretty snugly, it's pretty snugly, pretty snug in there. I don't know why it's popping out right now, but yeah. And so you just close it down, lock it down, and it works pretty well. I really like this case. I mean, of course, with all that in it, it's going to be like six times heavier than that one on the floor right there. But um, really cool case, I really like it. All right, guys, so that's all the cases that I have here for you. I know it was a lot. It was seven cases that I have, but hopefully it was informative to helpful for you guys to, you know, help you buy your next case. Like I said, the top two for sure, the top pistol case is going to be the Apache, but it is the most expensive case that I have. And then the best rifle case or hard shell case, or rifle case, long gun case is going to be this all-weather tactical by Plano. But it is a lot more expensive, 200 bucks. But if you can get it on sale like I did for $65, you can't beat that price. And the quality you get for this. I probably wouldn't pay 200 bucks. I probably wouldn't pay 200 bucks for any case, even if it's a Pelican case, because that's just ridiculous to me, and I can spend that $200 on a gun. But um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have stuck through this whole video, I know it's pretty long. Uh, if you stuck through this whole thing, thank you so much. And if you haven't, thank you so much for still even watching. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I will be having more uh, gun videos coming out and going to the shooting range as well. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you. See ya. I'm